to pay. And you can see more on the budget in a Wales Live special that's straight after this bulletin. A man who helped rescue a 14-year-old boy from the wreckage of an explosion in Swansea says he was just following his instinct. Don Fernandez and his wife moved to Cledach Road in Morriston just one month ago. On Monday, a suspected gas explosion killed their neighbour, 68-year-old Brian Davis. Charon Precara went to meet them. One house destroyed, those nearest no longer safe to live in. Today, Don Fernandez and his wife Donna were told they'll have to find a new home after Monday's blast destroyed theirs. I see the door already blasted out, glasses are scattered there, and white smoke outside. Mm -hmm. Then, then only the, I, I heard this, the voice of the kid asking for help. That voice belonged to 14-year-old Ethan Bennett, stuck under the rubble of his collapsed roof. Don helped to pull Ethan from the wreckage, but he refuses to see himself as a hero. I keep telling him that you're brave, but he doesn't want to accept. He said, no, I'm just human. I'm, I'm, no. It's not me who saved him. It's the boy who's really brave. Who saved him. It's not me. Yeah, it's not me. Not. While Ethan and his mum Claire escaped, Brian Davis, whose house was at the epicentre of the blast, died. When Donna heard what happened, her first thought was for her neighbour. Looking at the house itself, I don't think there is a sign of life and I feel really devastated. He doesn't deserve this. Now they're mourning Brian's loss and questioning the future. Donna moved to Wales a year ago and Don joined her last month. Their two young children were due to follow. Now, without a home, that's uncertain. They've been overwhelmed by the support of the community. Their priest, Father Jason Jones, has allowed them to store the few valuables they could retrieve at his house. He says he's grateful they're part of the parish. He just wanted to help and to do something. No security or protective clothing, just wanting to help. And I think it's it just be very blessed that he's part of our community. Now, like all those impacted by Monday's blast, all Don and Donna can do is look forward and rebuild.